If you want to learn how I get from this to this, then keep on watching. Welcome back to Keeping Up with the Queen. Today, we have to talk. I am going to give you a rundown of all my favorite summer makeup products that are staples in my daily routine and I continue reaching for them whenever it's sunny and warm and I know that my combination skin is likely to get oily by the end of the day. What am I gonna do to keep my makeup as long lasting as possible and as natural and minimalistic as possible because we are all about the subtlety here. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on any future content, and let me know in the comment section below if you like this type of video. First of all, I've already had my skincare and sunscreen on. Of course, when it's sunny and warm and summer outside, you want to have at least SPF of 50. Now I have a very glowy base, which is perfect for for the look that I'm going for, which is a glowy, summery, healthy, natural skin kind of a look. We are going to go with Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. This one also has an SPF of 40 on top of whatever sunscreen I'm already putting on top. And it's a zinc oxide 12%, so it's healthy sunscreen. I have it in the shade ST9.5. This is the shade number. I think it fits pretty well. It a little bit, it's a little bit darker than my natural tone that I usually go for as far as foundation, but it's really, really nice. And you can see the consistency is super beautiful. Usually I use a foundation flat brush with my more liquidy or lighter coverage base makeup. You use a sponge and the product is so liquidy, almost all of the product is soaked into the sponge. So this is a better way to do serum-like foundations or tinted moisturizer or uh, cushion foundation works really well with this. So this is the Merit Beauty brush. I have a full review of the brand and there's some Mary Beauty products coming up so keep on watching. Before that, let's get our curl up. This is what my barber taught me to keep the bangs nice and curly so we're gonna do that. That's kind of cute. I'm going to do one drop on this side and then we're gonna blend it in. I usually do three drops, one, two, three, or one, two, three, and four and then I blend it out. This is very glowy. It's going to be great for dry skin, normal skin, combination skin. Well, if you're a combination and you want to use something like this, which is a serum slash foundation and sunscreen, it's going to be pretty heavy. And you might want to use a mattifying primer underneath just so that the makeup lasts longer. With this makeup on, I can get away without touching up. If I put a light layer of powder on top, like which I would do, I can get away with like four to five hours and then I will have to blot or apply more powder on top. The texture and the shine is exactly like very skin-like and it doesn't cover like this chicken pox scar that I had new this year. It doesn't really cover it up, which I like. I still like my imperfections to shine through and I will show you how I cover them up if you want to in a little bit. And the marks here, you can still see them, but overall you can tell this area my skin tone is evened out. Everything is just a little bit smoother and glowier, which I love. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and I'll be back for the next step. I just realized that it has niacinamide, squalane, and hyaluronic acid in here. No wonder it's so hydrating and looks absolutely gorgeous. You can see how skin-like it is. Next up, since I have pretty heavy dark circles today, I'm going to show you how I put concealer on top of this. Bobbi Brown, of course, my trusted corrector in the shade A Light Peach. This is the proof of how much I love this product. Tiny bit goes a long way. I just use a, an eyeshadow brush with a more dense end here. And I just go directly wherever the discoloration is. And I find that the light peach color really cancel out any green 
under eye bags that I have. It well, it's not a hundred percent, but it does correct it pretty well, and it makes it a lot lighter than something like a traditional concealer would look. It would be very heavy, and since I use a small brush, I'm able to target the dark circles. Like. Not much of a difference since the Ilia is a pretty high coverage already for me. You already see a lot of improvement with just the foundation, but this side has the Bobbi Brown and you can see clearly it looks a lot more refreshed. And I'm not trying to rush, I promise, but I kind of have an 11 o'clock company-wide meeting. In case you didn't know, I am a real estate agent here in the Washington State, greater Seattle area, King County, Snohomish County. So if you know anyone who wants to sell a house near Seattle, let me know if you need help. One who needs to sell or buy a house. So with that said, that's the concealer. If you're feeling very fancy or if you need extra coverage, like for example, if I want to cover this here that's already pretty much covered, I would go with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium 1 Custard, beloved product. And again, I'm not going to use the doll foot and apply it on my skin. I'm going to go with the same dense brush and just grab the exact amount that I want. And then, boop, target on the spot that you want to cover. This spot here and this spot here. I don't even know if you can see it on camera. And then I just kind of use my finger to blend it out. And then I have redness around my mouth. I'll just tap whatever is left and then run it around my nose just to make sure everything is blended in the corner there. We better put powder on before everything creases. I take them travel with me. On days when you feel like you need some extra coverage but you don't want to go for the full foundation look, you can just use Use the concealer and blend it out with a sponge all over your face targeting the troubled areas and then it would work perfectly. Since this is a summary look, I want the blush to be the main focus point of this entire tutorial. Get ready with me. So we're going to layer blush, a uh, liquid and powder on top, and then we're going to mix two colors as well. I want to show you how versatile you can make your product. So this is a Merit Beauty lipstick in the color Levenu Signature Lip. This is the packaging. It is just a very basic warm red color that when you blend out, it's kind of just like a blush. You can see how this type of lipstick is a more traditional slash hydrating lipstick. You can totally use it for your blush. So I'm gonna layer this first before I put any powder product on top as a base blush and then I'm gonna go on top with a more corally peachy color. You can pretty much use any type of lipstick except for liquid lipstick. Probably that would be a little tricky to use as a blush but something more blendable. You even can use those mousse like texture lipstick. Those will be matte right when you blend them out but look at how gorgeous this look. It's already adding a blush to my skin that is so natural. I'm gonna focus it entirely on the center though. I'm not gonna blend it out super far. That is Merit Beauty for you. Look how versatile their product are. Pretty much love the entire line. So now we're gonna use Hourglass Fail Translucent Setting Powder. I just have a very cute travel size with a giant brush that we're gonna dip in and super dusty. So let's get those cr creases off our eyes and then set there first. This foundation does need some powder because it's so serum like, it's so moisturizing. If I don't use powder in the summer, it will, it could be a disaster if I'm staying outside. Since we're feeling fancy, I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs Tantalize Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan. This is a bronzer that have been very popular for so many years and it's absolutely one of my favorites just because of how pigmented it is, how a little bit goes a long way and then it doesn't take much to blend out. And I'm not gonna go too far, I just wanna show you what I would do to add some warmth. Typically, if I'm lazy, I'm even skipping this step. I use this brush, it's pretty thin already. I can just kind of use it for my nose contour as well. Let's get this rolling. Oh my god, the camera keep getting heat up. So I'm using Viseart uh, Petite 4 Eyeshadow Quad in the shade Praline. 
Look at how gorgeous this is. I haven't featured it enough on my channel, but I do use this pretty often. Usually I just use blush for eyeshadows these days, but since I'm making a video and we're on the glowy side of things, let's pick this color here. That is a little bit like a bronze with a sparkles and we're just gonna like scatter it everywhere on the eyelid. It does add a little bit of warmth and it doesn't have chunky big glitter so it it looks pretty natural i'm trying to do it quickly just to show you how quick you can make this routine but it's taking so long every time i film everything involves the camera takes so long so you better like this video and watch everything i put out because it's a lot of work I'm gonna grab the lightest champagne to highlight oh my gosh i think i grabbed a little bit too much Harry para sugar twinkle dual eye stick is a really cool product it has inner corner kind of a white highlight that is matte on one side and then it has a sparkle on the other end with a bigger um, kind of applicator so i'm usually just running the smaller end through my waterline to brighten it up a tiny bit and then i'm going to use an eyeliner and this is a brown to match the summer and natural look we're going for mqny waterproof pencil gel liner i believe this is a korean brand and it's very dull now i need to sharpen it it's not one of those automatic twist very very quickly pretty much done and then we're gonna go with the if you feel fancy of course eyelash curler push up lashes pillow talk by charlotte tilbury this is the red color i really really like this shade because it's natural and in the sunshine you can really see it and i just feel fancy today so hey, can you tell i have it on I really like it. The next product I want to introduce you to is this NARS Orgasm on the beach blush and highlighting palette. Two highlighters slash bronzers and then you have four blushes in different tones and depth, which is perfect. So I already have like a more warmer reddish pinkish blush on so i'm gonna go with this shade right here which is a lot more corally and again concentrated starting at the apple but then blend it out to the side and keeping it pretty much on the center of the face i do want it to show on camera that is the blush on and then i'm going to use a little bit of the lighter shade here which is the finger and I'm gonna tap it on the top of my cheek just to use it as a highlighter. I'm not gonna go crazy with it because I know my skin is gonna naturally get shiny. And then on the, my nose, the lips. I'm going to go with this Nude Romance Lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. I've reviewed this as well. It's a peachy nude and I'm gonna use a different finger. I think it will fit perfectly and this lipstick is not too dark it's not too light in color it's not too pink it's not it's like everything in between and it's so easy to put on i don't even need a mirror l'avenue merit beauty for the center of the lip just to add a little bit of depth this is the final look for this get ready with me as you can see it's extremely glowy i really like this type of look for the summer and whenever there's the sunshine out there i really like to have a little bit of a blush look going on it really creates a youthful illusion <laughs> to my face so i really really like it and i hope you enjoy these products these are some of my favorite makeup products recently that i trust and are performing pretty well let me know or your experience what you think of these products if you have tried them are there anything else that i want to i would want to try out that you would recommend um let me know in the comment section below beside that i hope you have a wonderful day wonderful night wherever you are i will see you in my next video until next time please don't flop